All right, here we are going to solve this absolute value equation. And of course, we have two absolute values. And uh, you might be wondering, because this equation has both x and y, and uh, we just have one equation, so this is not system of equations. Um, how do we get an answer out of this, though? Who shouldn't we have like infinitely many answers for this? So, what do you guys think? Yeah, well, let me tell you, we actually just have one answer. One word is here, one x and one y that will make this true. And you know the deal, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay, cool. Have a look. Here is the key. If the middle is a minus, then unfortunately, it will be crazy. And I think there will be like so many answers and I don't even know how to do it. But thankfully, this is a plus. And then we have the first absolute value plus the second absolute value is equal to zero. The only way that this can happen is that this right here has to be zero. And this right here will also have to be zero. Because whenever we have an absolute value of whatever that we have inside, if this is equal to zero, well, you can get rid of the absolute value and you put a plus or minus, but plus zero, minus zero, same thing. This means the inside will have to be zero. All right. And you see that because this right here can never be negative. So the only way is that they both have to be zero in order for this equation to be true. If again, if this is like this plus that is equal to let's say two, then again, well, I don't know how to do that. It will be crazy. But anyway, that's the key. So we actually will end up with absolute value. We, will, we will actually end up with a system of equations and I'll just put down x plus y plus seven. I don't think I should re record, but I will just keep going. <laughs> it's equal to zero. And then I'm gonna put this down right here, which is two x minus y plus two is equal to zero. I'm sorry, it's just tired, so by the way. Okay, so how do we do this? If you would like, you can like <laughs> You can put the numbers to the other side first, but it doesn't really matter that much. You can just combine them right away, and you see that this and that cancel out very nicely, and we just get 3x plus 9 is equal to 0, so that means 3x is equal to negative 9, and that means x is equal to negative 3. And then we can just put this back to the original equation right here maybe, so we get negative 3 plus y plus 7 is equal to 0, and uh, this and that is 4, we put that to the other side, so that means y is equal to negative 4. So, ladies and gentlemen, the answer for this right here is negative 3 for x and then negative 4 for y. And with that, we are done. Yeah, so that's th this is the key.